Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. My name's CJ. Right, uh, as we recall then, in the last episode, we'd been searching high and low for uh, parts for the uh, prawn suit. We've been looking specifically for the drill arm with no luck. I think what we're going to do today though, we are going to start by crafting the prawn suit and the available arm that we can do, which is the grappling hook. Uh, we'll also look at upgrading the depth module, but before we start, there has been a update to Subnautica. Uh, one of those updates is, I believe, on the Cyclops, and that's this here. Uh, I think it shows you some information when you're... Uh, well, basically when whatever is docked in it is docked. Let's go dock our uh, navigator so we can have a look at that and see what it looks like. Uh, one other thing I will just mention, just before we do go any further, uh, can't even use this now, not too sure why, I can't even disassemble it, uh, but I can use the radio and everything still, so I'm not too sure what that is, I thought it might have been the reinforcements, but I don't believe it is the reinforcements, I just believe it is bugged out. Right, so let's drop in and go park this on here. Uh, Where's the opening? Nearly gone past it. There we go, and it actually tells us what is in there. Oh, we can actually get straight into the upgrades from here as well. Is that showing storage? Not too sure what those ones are. Can't see any actual storage on that, so yeah, I'm a bit unsure, but we'll uh, leave that as is for now. Let's shut that door, leave that in here. So, first things first, I have looked high and low for the mobile vehicle bay, uh, but unfortunately, to no avail. So, I'm pretty sure that has gone, and we're going to need to craft another one. So, first things first, we're going to have to craft ourselves a mobile vehicle bay. I was just I uh, cooked I I, and oh, we can actually create the reactor rods as well. Uh, if you have noticed as well, if you look up at the top, you can see that there has been a drop in power, uh, and I'm pretty sure that means that this has been now changed and doesn't produce as much power. Could also mean that our solar panels aren't doing anything either. Ah, so currently they are off. 125 of 125. So yeah, that's currently draining. Uh, we do have that plant over there. But what I might do today, I might actually swap that out. Let's have a look at what it takes to build the nuclear reactor. Oh, we've also got these as well that we could potentially place around the base. Uh, so yeah, we've got the nuclear reactor, and we've also unlocked the double quilted bed. So yeah, that is different than the one we have upstairs. So you can see the recipe's changed on that as well. You now need fibre mesh to create the bed. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll get our fibre mesh back. Well, let's have a quick snooze then. That isn't what I wanted to do, but hey-ho. And awake. <sighs> Feeling fresh. New start to a new day. <laughs> let's take him off there. And let's say, uh, no, come on, deconstruct the bed. We got a fibre mesh back that we actually never put into it. And let's plonk down a quilted bed. There we go, that looks a little more fancy. And then what we can do as well is plant down our items again. Let's pop you here. Uh, can I actually get him the way I want him? Yeah, let's place him there. And the cap. Let's place the cap there. Whoa. I could do with turning it just slightly. There we go. So there we go, and we got ourselves a nice quilty bed. Don't know if that does any extra for the rest. Can't really tell if the rest's 
actually does do anything for us either. I love this view, especially in the daylight. We're going to have to get some lights out there soon, which is why I do actually want to upgrade the power. So yeah, uh, looking at this then, the nuclear reactor, it's going to take plasteel ingots, advanced wiring kit, and some benzene. And that is actually relatively easy for us to craft. Um, the rods themselves that you use to power it, I've just seen those in here. And they take uranite crystals, three lead, titanium, and glass. Uh, one last thing I believe that has changed as well from the update. Now that's still called magnetite. I believe one of them has changed. Yeah, this is now called ruby. Oh, and the mercury ore has changed as well. Heating O2 to acquire refined mercury. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, nothing else has changed. That has changed. I believe that wasn't called uranite. Uh, but there we go. That's now changed as well. So, the first thing that we need to craft today then, let's go straight in for the, uh, where is it, the mobile vehicle base. We're going to need a titanium ingot, a power cell and some lubricant. The power cell, that's not a problem, we actually have one sitting in here. Uh, we also need lubricant, do we have any? Yes we do. And then we just need a titanium ingot, and I believe we have got quite a lot of titanium in here. So we just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jackpot. Come across here, get that turned into an ingot. Jesus Christ, those creatures are loud outside. And there we go, we've now got another mobile vehicle base. Now, today, there we go, we've got that, so, let's go and take that up to the surface, uh, I'm just going to chuck it out, I'll follow it up on the way up, can we ride it up, yep, Maybe not. <laughs> it was worth trying. Could have given us a free lift. There we go. So that's now out. Let's climb up. Uh, it does look like this has possibly been reskinned as well. I don't know why, but it looks a lot smoother and a lot cleaner. Uh, and the vehicle that we're going to craft then is going to be the prawn suit. So we need two rubies, a plasteel ingot, two aerogel lubricant, and two lead. So. First things first then, we're going to need the lubricant. Uh, the lubricant itself, we can get that from all the items that we're farming. I love how we've got everything here that we need now. Pretty easy to the, easily to grab, uh, ready to harvest as well, a lot of these things are. So, I'm going to need uh, some of these. So, one, two, three, four, and that should get us our lubricant. I can't remember if we said we needed one or two, but I'm happy to make two. That's not a problem at all. Captain. Right, so, the lubricant, oh, it's actually the creep vine cluster. You know what, let's just make the mesh, get it over and done with. So we haven't just got a load of rubbish in the inventory. There we go, and we could just chuck that in there. Now let's get ourselves a creep vine sample. Yeah, I'll take an extra one again. And turn that into lubricant. Right, now we also need plasteel ingot, which is titanium and lithium. Now the question is, do I actually have any lithium left? And I actually don't think I do. No, I don't. Uh, what I could do then, and what I think I am going to do, uh, because the base is actually pretty sturdy, I'm just going to steal it from one of these reinforcements. You can see we're still at 94.9, so we're not actually going to see any problems by deconstructing this. 
I might even replace these out for glass because we uh, have the capabilities. Look at that as well with all that fully open so you can see out behind that as well. You know what? I am going to do that now. Uh, we will need you as well for aerogel. Uh, two, two, two. Oh, we really haven't got any lithium at all. So yeah, we just got these two pieces of lithium. We only need... Did we need one or two plasteel ingots? That's the question now. Because I can't quite remember. So where is the prawn suit? So yeah, we need two plasteel ingots. So we're going to need another two pieces of lithium. Well, let me quickly craft this up into glass. Uh, three. Oh, actually, I didn't even need three, but never mind. I'll save a piece because we do need some anyway for uh, the nuclear fuel. Right, so I just need another two pieces. You know what? I'm going to take this one if it'll let me. Maybe not. It won't let me. Oh, because all that's in the way. Uh, I can't take any from there. And I can't take any off that back wall there. I might actually have to go out and find some uh, some lithium. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out, get some lithium, and I'll be right back. I managed to gather the rest of the lithium that we required. Uh, so, I just need the titanium now for the titanium ingots. So, we've got six, uh, eight there, sorry, there's ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. There's the other 10. So let's get our two plasteel ingots made. Um, titanium ingots first. And another. And then the plasteel ingot. And the final plasteel ingot. There we go. Right, so let's look what was next on the list then. So we've got the two plastic lingots. Next is two lead, two rubies, and two aerogel. Now, the aerogel itself, I can't quite remember what that came under. It was a, a gel sack and a ruby. So we're going to need four rubies in total then. Uh, wrong one. Uh, this one, I believe. No, this one. One, two, three four. Ooh, we nearly didn't have enough there and we need two pieces of lead. Uh, we also need one more gel sack. Was that the one out there? Yes it was. So let's head on out of here. Let's get them laid out. And I think I'm actually going to use that and get this filled up. Uh, One, two, three. One, two. Uh, let's take that and plant that. I've actually got an extra seed now that I don't need, but never mind. We'll uh, take that in with us. I think what I'll actually do as well is we'll plant this in here. We haven't even been in here as well to see what we've got. Oh, so we've got... Oh, we've got a few fish in here then. Only babbies, but we've got ourselves a bone shark, a spade fish, and a stalker. Now, if we use the planter, let's plant ourselves a gel sack in there. We'll leave those in there for now. We're not going to get them out, but if you take them out into the open water and set them free, they'll grow to adult size and they will be tame to you as well. Uh, so they'll no longer attack you. I don't know if it changes the way the others attack you. If they all then become tame. Uh, but for now, let's just get cracked on with making the aerogel and finishing this prawn suit. There we go. So we now have all the items for the prawn suit. Let us go and get to our... Whoa, that moon does look creepy as hell as you're swimming up to it. Um. I'd say I can see it now. 
like this game is amazing. Like that's what I'd expect to see when it was right down low. I wouldn't expect to see that clear, but when it was down low, that shadow on the surface of the water that was recognisable. That's what I'd expect to see in real life. And look at the size of that moon and how fast it moves across that sky. Right, so there we go. Let's make the prawn suit. Oh. Normal one first, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. I don't worry. I carry a slight amount of self-discipline. Uh, is that why it's just getting hobby? Oh, good. So it wasn't getting float right down to the bottom. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now this is the first time I have ever used the prawn suit. There we go, we've just landed. At the moment we've just got the two normal arms, which you can actually pick things up, but I, I'm not going to demonstrate on anything around here because there's nothing to need. Whoa, 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 get up here, please. Uh, now, I am wondering if we can actually get up into here. Please. Central. There we go, we're in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right now, let's have a look what upgrades we can make for the prone suits. We are going to need a couple of pro uh, prone suits upgrades. So, we will need the grappling arm. Not really too bothered about the propulsion arm. We're definitely going to need the depth upgrade. Uh, exosuit depth module upgrade, Mark 1. Okay, so has that changed as well? Uh, I'm pretty sure you used to be able to upgrade just the one. Ah, so that's now just the sea moth one. So I'm pretty sure that means we've now got a spare sea moth upgrade just lying around somewhere. Yeah, sea moth only, so no longer actually says sea moth and prone suit. So we do actually now need that drill arm more than ever because we're going to need it to make even the depth upgrade for the sea, the prone suit. Uh, prone suit thermal reactor. Um, kyanite, I haven't even seen that yet. The jumpsuit also, uh, jumpsuit also requires nickel ore and crystalline sulfur, which we've not come across yet. We even need a piece of lithium for the propulsion cannon and a piece of lithium. We definitely need some lithium and then we need the drill arm, which we still haven't got the upgrade for. We still haven't quite found that. Uh, so for now, I think I'm going to be leaving that in there. And what it is that we're going to have to do, we're simply going to have to go out and see about finding that upgrade still. Now, I have done some research. It's mentioned the Grand Reef. It's also mentioned a potential... We're there just checking they've got everything on me. 30% charge. Uh, yeah, I'll sort that in a second. Let me just go get a couple of batteries. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Yeah, as I was saying then, I believe there's a couple of potential biomes. That's also full as well. We'll take that with us. We can easily charge all these back up if we need to. Uh, now don't think I'm going to take the stasis rifle either. I'm probably just going to leave that in one of these uh, chests in here. So let's leave it in this locker for now. Uh, I'm not going to need the habitat builder. Probably not going to need the torch. So we'll just take the laser cutter, the repair tool, the scanner and the sea glide in case we need to get out of a sticky situation. Uh, now uh, the next thing that we're going to need is the Cyclops, but first things first, let's get our food tidied off. Uh, in fact, we can do that while we're on there. We have got food on the Cyclops growing, or should I say the Nautilus. I don't think I've used the name once for this ship, even though I've already named it. And uh, Let's get back in. Climb up. Uh, let's go get some potatoes. Now, these actually do rather fantastic. I always make sure I put one back. Vital signs stabilizing. But you can see now my food is absolutely full and full of water. Uh, I did actually plant one back in, didn't I? Yes, I did. Just checking. Yeah, for water, these seeds are fantastic. See, we're nearly at full maximum already.
there we go. So water's all topped off as well. Uh, we probably are going to have to take some water with us. I don't actually know if I have any uh, back at the base. Let's go just quickly check. Hopefully we do, because I don't really want to have to make any, and I don't really want to have to take anything with me. Jackpot. Three will do. We're only really looking for these parts now, so we're not going to be faffing around with anything. Now, yeah, I keep rudely interrupting myself, but what I was saying is, the areas of location that I've read on the wiki, whether the wiki is still correct, it reads that you can get them either in the Grand Reef, uh, the... Uh, can't think it's called the grassy plateau, which is this area with all the red uh, grass around. All systems online. And then the other area, I believe, was the dunes. Now, we've checked all of the wrecks in the dunes. With there being an update, it could mean that the wrecks have reset, so it would be worth us checking those out again. But there is also potentially a wreck somewhere in the grassy plateau now I believe the grassy plateau is all this area over this direction to the north and northwest behind where we've started I believe we can get here just by cutting across here this is all technically part of the grassy plateau uh, and quite frankly I can't remember if we actually checked over this wreck I believe there is an any way in down here uh, there's a lot of uh, scrap around here I'd have to come and collect as well. Uh, do you get in through here? No, there's nothing here that we can scan potentially, no. So all I'm really looking for is that drill arm. Now I'm not really looking for anything else. The drill arm is of maximum importance to us. Maybe I should have brought the torch as well up this way. Oh, that's got a nice potty plant in it. Shame we can't get a trimming of the plant. And we can't actually get through that door. Yeah, pretty sure we've been through all of this and it simply hasn't reset them. May have reset what was in here because normally these doors do stay open. Oh, there's a door we can cut. Uh, so let's put the cutter on too. Oh, the cutter actually gives off light. I think that's going to be our new torch for today strange. I don't know why it does give off light. I can imagine it giving off light while it's in operation, but not while it's switched off. And I'm glad we bought batteries as well, because this is already nearly out of power. Ping, let's go through. Uh, doesn't look like it's actually brought us around to anything of use. Yeah, and there clearly is nothing in here. Um... Anything down here? Doesn't look so. Definitely nothing we can scan. Nothing hidden away. Yeah, so we let's get back out of here. I'm guessing we've got to go the way we came in. That strange hue when you look up. That's a bit weird. That's new as well. Can't say I've ever remembered seeing that. So yeah, it doesn't look like there is anything in this one. We we'll probably just recut open a door we've been through several times before. Oh, then potty plants are actually on the wall. This plant life that was in these as well. I'm not too sure whether I've actually seen that. Let's see. Uh, scan it. Says we can scan it. A basic plant pot. So. There's a good chance, Sam, we hadn't had that one before. Can't really say there was any valid importance to it, though, to be honest. But hey-ho, new plant pot, new decorations. Uh, right, let's get back in the Seamoth. Uh, where's my navigator? There you are. Oh, before we do, is there any new unopened chests down here. Whoa. Yep, I'm not even going to bother going in there. It's not worth the risk. Let's just get out of here. Right, so we've definitely checked this rack out then. Right, now, the rest of the grassy plateau, it doesn't delve down there. I believe it heads over towards the mushroom cave entrance. 
I'm not too sure if there's more than one grassy plateau as well. I'm pretty sure there could be. There may be one more further to the north. I believe we may be on the southern side. So if we're adding in a northerly direction, I'm sure we have to go past these shallows and we shall come up on another plateau that's a bit more open. And pretty much the dunes are in this direction as well and those other wrecks that we checked down in the Grand Reef. So we are, are going to be heading in this direction more than likely. Jesus Christ. Got to make sure I'm driving a bit more neatly as I come through all this. Right, so I believe this isn't the grassy plateau, this is the floating islands. Yeah, you missed, bud. I didn't actually hear him coming up on me then as well, so I was lucky to get out of the way. Uh, we're going to skip around the floating islands. Because I believe the grassy plateau is just over this way. I believe them floating islands are a different biome altogether. Where they made this water a bit more eerie. Don't know why, but I feel a bit more uh, on edge around here. Yeah, here's the other grassy plateau. Sorry, boys, just crashed in another fish slack. Right, so. What we're looking for is a potential wreck somewhere in this mess. Shouldn't be too hard to find. There's one now. Pretty sure we have checked all of these out though. But I can double take on all of these. Just to definitely make certain we have searched them all. I really hope they don't damage that. And I really hope they aren't trying to damage me either. I aren't in the mood to fight with all of these. Now I might open that door. I might not. Because I'm pretty sure there's a way in. Through a ventilation somewhere. Is this the one? Um, no, where's me uh, cutting tool? No, cutting tool, thank you. There we go, light source. <laughs> Makes me laugh that this works as a light source. And uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here. But I'm pretty sure normally there's a vent. Oh, have they actually patched that up now? I'm sure that was the original vent that could get you through that door without having to cut it open. So yeah, we will have to cut this open now. Gonna have to change out this battery pretty soon as well. Yeah, so let's change the battery source. Uh, change, thank you. 89, 94, jackpot, there we go. Uh, Propulsion cannon fragments, that's no use to us. We've got all of this. Why is it telling me I haven't scanned any of this is the question. Has everything just reset? So it's telling us things we can't scan even if we've already scanned them. And we're just getting the titanium from them. So yeah, it is a bit of a waste. Let's get out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought they destroyed my Seamoth. <laughs> Alright, is this all part of the plateau? No, that goes into the shroom biome. So let's keep up here. I know that the dunes and the Grand Reef kind of disperse off from here. More in that northern direction, I believe. Uh, am I coming back on myself? I believe I am. Oh, there's a bit more of a wreck here. Anything that we can potentially get in doesn't look like it. it does look like just a tunnel that passes straight through. 
can't see any useful fragments. There's a bit of scrap, but that's no problem. That's something I can come and grab at a later point. Can't actually see anything of use around. No, definitely not. Um, there's the wreck we've just checked. And then it goes off down there. Sorry, boys. Maybe jump a bit down as well, I'll be honest. Nearly jumped out of his skin. Yeah, and this now heads into the mushroom biome, I believe. Yeah. So let's follow around this edge. See where the edge takes us. Keep our eyes peeled for more wrecks as we travel around. See, it looks like the plateau also raises up here. And continues on round. Yeah, so there's where that previous wreck was. Uh, is there anything around here? Right, it doesn't actually look like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away and have a look around. See if I can find something. If I come across the part, I will cut back in. Show you where it is that we've got it, and then we'll probably just meet back at base and see what we're going to need to craft this arm. So I'll be back with you in just a sec. As you can see, then I'm back at the base. Now, I did find the drill arm, I thought I was recording, and unfortunately, I wasn't. So, we're only going to make this quick and short, like I did with the video I thought I recorded. I got the drill arm from the dunes, there was actually quite a large wreck that I'd missed before, pretty much directly west from here, uh, so, oh, we've actually got the compass as a heads up display now, well that's good, oh yeah, we got the compass, it was a thermometer that we can't seem to find, right, so yeah, if I was to head roughly directly in the western direction, literally head to the end of the grassy plains and past the mushroom tree forest I would have come across it and it was just one little one that I'd missed Welcome I came across it Captain. actually trying to avoid a leviathan as I was coming back and it uh, ended up right by well right by the wreck and it was literally lying on the floor outside the wreck so yeah just let's go have a quick look what it'll take then and this will be something we'll be starting straight away with the next episode so the drill arm itself then takes five titanium, one lithium, and three diamond. So in between episodes, I'll go get that lithium. I definitely know we have the titanium and the diamond. And once we've got the drill arm, we can actually get underway with using this prawn suit and getting some of those resources that we couldn't get before. And I really do like this uh, prawn suit. Uh, I like how it floats around. Well, I pretty much just like this in general. Probably give something a beating with it, so I'll give it that. It's very fast considering we're underwater. But yeah, if you've enjoyed today's video, please feel free to leave a like. I'm so glad that we now have the drill arm blueprint. And uh, also, if you'd like to see more videos from yourself, especially the Subnautica videos, then please feel free to subscribe. Thank you.